All right, what's up, guys? So today I am going to be reviewing Clash Royale. So Clash Royale is a game where you fight, you are going up against another opponent. It's live battles, um, so it has to find someone. When you open up the app, when you first start off, this is kind of what you're gonna see, the layout that you're gonna see. You, just to kind of filter you guys through them. Anything on this page here, you can buy. There's daily offers that, that pop up here. On um, the next one here is where you have your cards. This is where you assemble your decks. Uh, the decks that you assemble are gonna be compiled of, of the cards that they offer you down here. And for those of you who know Clash of Clans, you would recognize some of these uh, cards here. If you are part of a clan, which is something that I do recommend that you do, uh, you wanna be part of a clan in order to, so you guys can, can give each other cards. Uh, you guys, uh, if you need cards, you wanna help boosting up a specific card, you can request it and having someone give you some cards, it works, you get experience points, stuff like that. Let me show you guys a battle. You guys wanna see? So right now I am using um, this deck, it is, it is compiled of, uh, the average elixir cost is 3.1 um, elixir, so th that is how you battle, but let me show you. So when you go into battle, it's gonna com the computer is going to compare you to someone that is of equal level or skill level as you. If they're on a few losses, it'll put you someone that's uh, a little bit easier. So as you see here in the bar, the elixir has filled up. Um, you want to make sure that you're you're using your elixir uh, efficiently. So the the wizard here is a fire wizard. I'm gonna wait for him to shoot, and then I'm gonna drop this one. You always want to every uh, I guess card or anything that you have has a specialty uh, as as to what what is the benefit. What the goal of the game is, I haven't covered it, is you want to destroy your other opponent's castles. Uh, before the time runs out. Whether you destroy one castle, you destroy all three castles, uh, that is the goal. Now, right now, I am letting my elixir build up again. So he dropped uh, the barbarians. So I am gonna do fire, uh, the, the, the fire wizard, and he is gonna get rid of them. Now, I'm gonna put some defense up front for the wizard. Again, these are the skeletons. They have a shield plus one hit, so it's pretty effective. Um, that aerial unit there is gonna be difficult. Oh, he got him. Nope, dang. He got, oh, there you go, nice. All right, so you wanna, it's, it's all about placement. You wanna make sure that you put your cards in a certain area where it's gonna be most effective. Like right here, I won't do anything because it's only a couple skeletons and they, as you can see, it allows me to build up my elixir again. Uh, so the the less elixir that you, a less elixir a card is worth, obviously benefit, it, it's probably gonna be weaker, but the more elixir it has, the stronger the card will be. Uh, and so as you can see there, I'm kind of doing a play there. I'm putting the wizard in the back. I wanna make sure, so, so he did he. I'm not letting anything through, but I'm a firm believer that you always got to play both sides. You got to, like, because if you just kind of go towards one, on one side, then he's going to start. Uh... So right there, we got into a shootout. But you don't want to let them overwhelm one side. I guess that's the point, what I'm trying to get to. He's going to get a few hits there. Got that. As of right now, if the game would, were to end, as you see, it's 22 seconds left. If the game were to end right now, he would win because he has gotten more hits on my castle. But I'm doing some work over on the left side. All right, he's trying to go. He's trying to play both sides too, which is all good. On the right-hand side, here we go. That's going to be a big hit. Nice, he got nothing there. Okay, so now this just went into sudden death. Sudden death is now... Doesn't matter what happened, Who, if we were at a tie, then, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Nice, nice, those are good hits. Oh, damn, he got, I'm not even paying attention there. All right. So I'm gonna drop the barbarians. This guy has a shield. 
I'm gonna drop the ghost in the back. You always wanna make sure, don't let him build something up on you. Like right here, he's gonna charge there. I'm gonna get him here. All right, watch this. Ready? Okay, so I just, I'm overloading the left side and he doesn't know I have this spell. Boom, multiply. Boom, win. Woo! With one minute left to go. And every time that you win, it tells you a winner. I could either say good game, well played, or and give them a little dancing emoji. And I get, uh, because all of my chest slots are full, I don't get a chest, but I do get 44 gold. Um, yeah, and so that is Clash Royale. And, and this is, it's cool about it is that you're kind of, um, you play against other people. They do have, uh, you have the party mode where you can do, uh, you can do a 2v2. So let's do a, a quick match, a, a two players, right? They have different modes, different templates. Right now it's searching for players. It's trying to match us up based off our experience and time we've been on. This is my teammate. You know, I don't really do 2v2s that much because I am, um, it makes me nervous because I feel bad sometimes when I suck, to be honest, because I'm not the best, you know? But like right here, I like, oh dang, she's gonna hit him. He's gonna get rid of him for sure. Okay, so I'm dropping there, they got me there. We gotta get him there. All right. So so far, me and this, me and this guy have. Or who is this? Who are we playing as? Smirnov. Smirnov. All right, man. You sound like you're from Russia. Get him. Throw it. Drop it. Go. He heard me. He heard me. These guys are gonna come right in. Boom. Oh, he's got that new Electro Wizard. All right. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. They're overloading the left side. Damn. Oh, shit. You see? You see? Look at what, look at what just happened. Just like that. They took out one of our castles. That was a good move. I feel like they coordinated that attack. I dropped the little bombers that go. But... No, see, this is what I'm talking about right here, where I don't feel like we're really coordinating, and... Oh, dang, we're getting hits, we're getting hits. Alright, so this also shows me his elixir. Okay, so... Nope, not enough. Not enough. All right. Okay, that was a good defensive stop, but we don't need defense right now. We need action. Oh. Not enough, not enough. Okay, they got us. Once it starts getting to this one, I'm not giving up, but yeah, they got us. So this is the, all right, now he's talking smack. I'm just gonna get him with that. Everything's on fire. My bad guy, Smirnoff, you can play again, but I'm not, yeah, I feel bad, all right. All right, well, let me show you one more. This is my favorite deck right here actually this one's my favorite one i feel like oh this one always is a clean win every time let's check it out but the arena changes from time to time depending on the mode that you're in right now the arena for the month is this like electro wizard okay so he dropped the oh he dropped so what i did is i froze him right you got the freeze and there you go. And on the left, look at that. 
but now the left is covered. I'm assuming, you gotta also keep in mind their elixir, right? I know how much these uh, these cards have in elixir. So, like, you kind of have to keep a track account. It, it, I, I kind of relate this game's, uh, it has a lot of similarities to chess because in chess, they're all calculated moves. You have to kind of think ahead as to what they're gonna do. Um, because as they start playing the game, they start revealing the cards that they have, and you can kind of start uh, getting an idea as to what card they're going to use next, best based off of the rotation that, that they've, they're using it, because it's always a constant rotation. So he has the Mega Knight. I actually rather put him in the back than put him in the front, because he is going to, he's stronger than mine, so I'm going to give him the hits, but I am going to just... Hit him from the sides and everything. Boom. All right, so she, the bandit. And since we got some action going on the right, I'm gonna go to the left to try to get, at least get him. He has to cover something. So he covered the, the, the right to not lose that tower, but now he kind of gave it to me on the left. And the good thing is that on the right, that tower is already kind of been damaged. So I'm gonna wait for him to come in, shoot, shoot, shot, boom, and then hit him with it after. So I'll calculate it, calculate it. So I've taken out both of his, so I, I, I know he has some strong cards here, so I am gonna take a defensive approach right now, even better, he hasn't seen this card. Boom, and I'll freeze it, why not? Just cause I can. There you go. So when, they, when that one blows up, it drops that. He's going to drop that Mega Knight somewhere. Or he keeps using up Elixir, so the Mega Knight's not going to come out. But the Mega Knight is a strong card. All right. he. I'm getting through to his one castle. He got one hit. There goes the Mega Knight. So I'm going to start prepping for it. But I'm gonna, honestly, I could care less right now. I'm going to go for the kill. I want to get this three crown. Boom. And he gave it to me. Oh. Nope, don't matter. You ain't gonna stop him. There it is. It's mine. Boom. Three kill. What's up? Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's gonna throw the chicken over here. I'm gonna give him the crying emoji. He's so sad. Oh, anyways. But Clash Royale, guys. This game is actually pretty fun. I enjoy playing it all the time. Uh, this is my number one restroom break uh, app to go to. Uh, go to app. Restroom break go to app. There it is. That's what we're gonna call it. This is a good. This is the one that you you gotta certify. This is restroom break uh, go to app certified. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, Clash Royale. Give it a shot. Oh, just one thing. Uh, they do have a pass royale, which is in a sense uh, it's five dollars, four ninety nine a month, uh, where you you purchase pass royale. Um, every, as you as you play, as you can see here on mine, it says next tier available in 10 hours. Every time I get a, ki a crown kill, uh, it adds up here, the three out of 10. So every time it gets a 10, a new tier uh, unlocks. And with these tiers, uh, you see the tower skin on the left and then you see on the right. Uh, with the tiers, on the right hand side is the free version. So this is a free game. Uh, but on the left, if you did pay for the pass, uh, the, the Royale, then you would have access to these, um, these emotes, you know, the little gifts, you would have access to the additional lightning strikes, these, uh, chests here and elixirs. And as you go to the bottom and then you had an, an additional, uh, chest, but, uh, I did get it for a few months. I kind of stopped once COVID happened. I figured I'd find something better to do with my five dollars. Uh, but overall, I enjoyed it because I got a lot of these little gifts um, or these little emotes. You kind of see them like when you when you're playing and you can kind of talk smack, <laughs> or you give them the whole you know crying eyes. Oh, oh, this is not it. This is a oh, that one's not available. It changes every day. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it below. Go ahead and download uh, Clash Royale if you'd like. My my uh, handle is Zamora. Uh, and join the clan, War Demon, if, you're, if you find it, if you see it. And let's play. Anyways, all right, guys. Talk to you later.